All right, we are working with converting between measurements. We did time, so if I said how many minutes are in five hours, you would do five times 60. And now we're going to do the same thing, but with weight. So we'll be converting between pounds and ounces, tons and pounds, and foot and inches. All right, so 16 ounces equals one pound. So if I have a pound of sugar, I have 16 ounces of sugar. A ton is 2,000 pounds. So if someone says that elephant weighs a ton, well, one ton is 2,000 pounds. And a foot, this is a foot, and a foot is 12 inches. I use this one a lot if I see something is five feet tall and I need to know how many inches that is. It's really good to be able to convert between feet and inches. So we're going to do the same thing as yesterday and do a couple questions. I want you to try the questions on your own and then pause the video and check how you did. So you are really going to learn a lot if you practice along with the video. So our first one is tons. So eight tons equals how many pounds? So I'm going to draw a bar model. I'm working with eight here. So I have eight tons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tons. And then looking at my chart, I know that each ton is 2,000 pounds. So I'm doing 2,000 eight times. So taking a look at my bar model, you should have an idea of what our multiplication problem is going to be. Now I want you to try it. So I'm going to do, and sorry my screen just got a little fuzzy there, I'm going to do 8 tons times 2,000 to find out how many pounds this is. So I want you to try that, pause the video, come back and check it. And to put this on a triangle, we're at the bottom of the triangle here. So we're doing eight tons, 2,000 pounds in each ton to find our bigger number. We're multiplying because we know our smaller numbers and we're going to end up with something really big. Eight times two is 16. And then add one, two, three. So that is 16,000. That's how many pounds are in eight tons. Just to give you some reference, the average elephant weighs about 12,000 pounds. So that's six tons. So the average elephant weighs about 12,000 pounds. And 12 divided by two is six. So six tons for the average size elephant, All right? When I say average, that means about normal. So not the biggest elephant, not the smallest elephant average. Let's do one more. The average car weighs four tons. So not the biggest car, not the smallest car. The average car these days weighs four tons. I want you to tell me how many pounds that is. Pause the video please and figure that one out and come back and check it. So one ton would be 2,000, two tons would be another 2,000, three, four tons. Each ton is 2,000 pounds according to our conversion chart. So we are going to do we are going to do four tons, 2,000 pounds in each one. So your average car weighs 8,000 pounds. And that is our label, 8,000 pounds. Now we're going to do some with ounces. So a lot of times when I'm cooking, I'll have a recipe or I'm baking and it'll tell me how many ounces of sugar I need. But maybe I have a whole pound, I have a bag. And so I want to convert between that. So four pounds is how many ounces? Well, take a look at the chart. How many ounces are in one pound? One pound is 16 ounces. So take that 16 four times to figure out how many ounces are in four pounds. One, two, three, four pounds. 16 ounces in each. That's how we know we're multiplying. 16 ounces in each. So go ahead and try four times 16, pause the video and come back. All right, so for four times 16, I'm going to use partial products. So I'm gonna do four times 10 and then four times 16. 
And you can definitely use a different strategy. 10 times 4 is 40. 6 times 4 is 24. 40 plus 24 is 64. So in 4 pounds, I have 64 ounces. All right, let's do one more. This time I want you to try it. Let's do six pounds. So please pause the video, figure out how many ounces are in six pounds and then come back. Go ahead. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to do six pounds times 16 ounces in each to get the answer. This time let's do an area model. If you used a different strategy, that's fine. This is what our area model looks like. 10 plus 6 times 6. So 10 times 6 is 60. 6 times 6 is 36. 60 plus 36 is 96. So 6 times 16 is 96. There are 96 ounces in 6 pounds. All right, last one. Feet to inches. This is the one that I use quite often. So this is one foot, and each foot has 12 inches in it. So therefore, how many inches are in five feet? So for each ruler or each foot we have, one, two, three, four, five, is 12 inches. Try this one on your own, pause the video, and then come back, please. So five feet. 12 inches in each one, how many inches total? Five times 12, I'm gonna do partial products. So five times 12, 12 in expanded form is 10 plus two. Five times 10 and five times two. Five times 10 is 50, five times two is 10, so five times 12 is 60. 60 inches. All right, today I want you to finish up um, your pixel art stick around please because a lot of you are actually already finished with it if you finish your pixel art I want to show you what you can work on in your book so I decided to have us practice with pixel art it's a little more fun but there are some really fantastic questions in the book that are really going to push your thinking and help you out so start on page 269 and there are some word problems same chart and then you can keep going so I would go to page 272, 273, and try some of these word problems, okay? Now you can do this, you can read this if you want, and you can do your vocabulary chart if you want to. But these are some really good practice questions, okay? So it is okay with me if you just do 269, and then you go to 272, and you try some more practice problems, okay? If you finish that, you can keep going. Everything under lesson 13 is all about converting between time and measurement, okay? So once you finish today, I want you to be working in your book on some of these questions because it will challenge you and will have you think about it in a different way, which is really good for you, all right? So now that you've watched the video, it is independent work time. You can still please come back to the meeting today because hopefully our internet is working today. Come back to the google meet but then you can turn off your camera and just do some independent work time and then i'll let you know when we're all ready for lunch